We just hit a mind-blowing 500,000 subscribers on the channel. I can't thank you enough for making Huckabee such an incredible success online. So to celebrate the 500,000 subscriber milestone, we wanted to give you a little treat. You see, week in and week out, The Huckabee Show brings relevant news, inspiring guests, and talented musicians to you. But what actually goes into making Huckabee every week? Well, we want to give you a behind-the-scenes look at what it takes just to make one show of Huckabee. Oh, and just so no one reports us to CNN or the mask police, most of the shots that you're about to see were taken before COVID-19. I hope you enjoy. When this show was conceived, the idea was that it would be very different for anything TBN had ever done before. It was going to be an old-fashioned variety show with just enough politics to keep it current, but not so much politics that it would drive your blood pressure 300 over 200. All right, it's 10 o'clock. Let's go ahead and get started. Governor, are you able to join us? I am. Uh, Lovely. I had a Lovely. college professor that said that if a producer is relaxed on show day, it means he did his job throughout pre-production. We have a great staff that knows how to just pick up a, an idea and get it done without a lot of push and pull. We give everybody a lot of independence to run with an idea and make it their own and own it. And then we have the uh, dog show with uh, Chris and Suey. Suey's not gonna be here. Suey will not yeah. be so here. So it's just Chris and the dog's name is My me. title is guest coordinator slash media producer. I oversee all of the guests. And so I'm the point of contact for either the manager or the actual talent. And then we have the Beach Boys. And Trey, do you want to walk through music for Absolutely. the three songs? <clears throat> um, Barbara Ann is the one that they have requested that she uh, play. I on. think the coolest thing about my job is getting to pick the break music. <laughs> I love picking break music because uh, Governor and I have some of the same taste of music. Like we, we really like old school R&B. So I don't always have to uh, pretend I like the music. I actually like the music every week. We've got a, we're going to play some of uh, the Hollies this week. Um, and really, I'm just writing these wonderful charts. And yes, we read numbers. We're in Nashville, okay? So if you ever see on the show, you'll see iPads like everywhere. Mm -hmm. Each of us have two or three iPads. It's ridiculous. But one of the iPads is for our charts. So if I make a change to something or if I messed up, <laughs> which happens quite a bit, um, if I mess up, wrote something wrong or something changes, I can change my iPad and it changes everybody's. So we're saving trees, you know? Huckabee, saving trees, iPads. So I'm going to the open so we can hear how loud the open is uh, and the music that we played versus what the Beach Boys played. So when the music is done and now it goes to talking, we still want the level, audio level-wise, so you don't have to turn it up and down. We want that level to be the same. Is that good with you? <laughs> Hopefully we didn't miss anything. <laughs> nope. They'll let us know. Oh yeah, they will. And Stephen, if you can speak into this, would it be best if we just, um, in between Surfing USA and right before Barbara So today Ann? we're getting set for the Beach Boys. The music is kind of the hardest part of the production, so we're trying blocking all that out. As the director, it's your job to take the vision that the producers have given you of the content and present that to the viewer um, using cameras, audio, video, music. Uh, in a pleasant presentation. We have eight isolated cameras that record just that camera, then we have a program cut, uh, which is what I'm doing during the show, and then a clean feed, which is the program cut without any graphics on it. One show taping, we are able to export uh, five separate items of content to put out there. So the governor is playing uh, the role of the stand-in for the main principles. I was trying to figure out how to do the risers, but um, it's just easier to bring the risers out here and look at them. So there's three parts to any shot, foreground, middle ground, background. Middle ground can also be called your subject. 
So we're just trying to get the background right. This isn't gonna work like this. Because in the shot, the keys are gonna be right behind them. You really wanna try and keep a clean background of either the set or uh, moving lights. Yeah, if, I, if, I, if I say this is plan A with them here, whatever, th this is plan A, but then Monday I can it's swap. It's my primary job in. to light the talent and make sure the show looks the best that it can visually. We're running about 200 LED fixtures, a little over that, and my board op is running about 27 universes of data, which uh, equates to about 8,500 parameters. Uh, that he's controlling. Long story short, we've got quite a bit uh, on our plate and our board op does a great job at managing all that. And we are gonna do uh, beach balls for this. Yeah, Jim, part of the audience experience is we're gonna blow up uh, probably six or eight okay. various different sizes. Of my role here ball. is events and audience producer. And basically my role is to engage with people, letting them know that they're loved and they're appreciated and then they're important and they matter. And if we can get them to leave feeling that way, then we know we've done our job. So this is um, our community uh, project for this month as a surprise to the local Humane Society. We're not doing just a show here. We're not just taping a show. We're actually being extensions out into the community. This will all be gone in about an hour. <laughs> this is our freedom flag over in the right corner. They are from all over the U.S. and abroad. Um, I tried to count them recently. <laughs> uh, I lost count at over a thousand. I remember the first time we did it, we weren't sure we were gonna keep doing it, but it was on a Memorial weekend. And this gal right here, she brought in Staff Sergeant Brian L. Smith. This was her son, and he passed away um, in service to our country. And when she put it on the flag, she began to weep because um, to her, this was a way that someone was honoring her son way beyond anything anybody has ever done. And she knows to this day, when she comes back to visit again, he's still there. Any other concerns, questions, or comments about episode 124? Very good, thank you everyone. Okay, let's talk through episode 124. Anybody got any questions about the rehearsal schedule? Good, we'll go in taping order. I, I think number one be. rule of being the host is, my job is to communicate. Use the camera as my tool, but talk to that camera like I'm talking to one person at home and engage them. Use uh, the opportunity to stay focused on what is the content? What is it that if I were sitting at home, I would want that host to be asking. Try to find out what those questions are. One, two, three, four, one, two. And that one holds, and then chorus, two, three, four. Usually, about halfway through, she gives up. Says there's no, no point. Yes, yes. This this is the important part because when you get my age, you need all the help you can get. Hello, everyone. I'm over here on the monitor. My name is Stephen Vogelman. I am the director for this evening. We're going to actually start at the top of the show. Stand by. Open animation. Music. Applause. Announce. And hit it in ten, nine, eight. Seven, stand by, open animation. It's gotta be more than a production. It's got to be people that are focused on why are we doing this? It's not just to try to create a great program. It's just those subtle, non-invasive ways of, of whispering the name of Jesus. If we can bring eyeballs to the network, introduce them to TBN, let them realize, oh, that's a great network. We love the Huckabee Show. And by the way, right before 
uh, David Jeremiah is giving some of the most amazing Bible teaching, or Robert Jeffress is on, or we have these terrific people whose content is compelling and powerful. And if that helps people uh, to connect to some of the teaching and preaching programs, then we've really fulfilled our goal. Ten, nine, eight, seven, stand by, open animation, music, applause, and three, two, applause. Tonight on Huckabee, Burgess Owens on the growing black conservative movement, Andrew Chambers, the DEA's most successful informant, and surfed up, it's the Beach Boys! Move on six. Go Keith, take five. Go five. All right, ready for showtime. I gotta go. Go Huckabee, five, five, take seven. Go seven, take two, push two. Get in there, push two, take one, push one. I hope you enjoyed that peek behind the scenes at what makes the show run. Thank you again so much for making this channel a big success. And if you haven't already, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel below. And if you have already subscribed, be sure to click the notification bell and select all notifications so that YouTube will actually tell you about our videos when we upload something new. And I know most of you are here for information and commentary on what's going on in the political world. And others of you, maybe you're here because you're just lost. But either way, if you want to take a break and get in a great time from world-class musicians, comedians, magicians, and a lot more, go check out our second channel, Huckabee's Jukebox. Until next time, goodbye and God bless.